Hello guys and welcome to another video in the series of Phoenix tutorials. In this video, we are going to look at how we can manage services using systemctl command. So let's begin. First of all, what is service? A service is a process or a group of processes that runs continuously in the background and waits for a event to trigger. So a service continuously listens for a event to trigger to perform its task. For example, web hosting using the Apache server is a service. In this case, when Apache is running, then it continuously listens for an event to trigger. Now with respect to web hosting, what is this event? This event is basically when the user asks for a particular page. So when user asks for a particular page, then that particular request acts as an event for the Apache. And based upon the input, the response is sent to the user. Okay. Based upon the request, the response is sent by the Apache server. Okay. And also Apache continuously listening that whether some request is coming or not. Okay. Now similar to this, we have other services also. For example, SSH is a service. Similarly, network manager is a service or Bluetooth is our services or if you use even any DAX which is used for the remote desktop, that is also act as a service. Now similar to these, there are tons of other services that can be used and to manage these services, we need a service manager program. And that particular program is our system CTL. Now to use system CTL, you can simply write here system CTL and then give the option here as status and then the name of the service. For example, I'll write here Apache 2 dot service. Okay. Then it will give me whether it, will, it is running or not. Okay. So currently if you see it is inactive, that means it is not running. Now in case if Apache is not installed in your system, then either you can install it using the apt command or you can use any other services for the practice purpose. For example, you can use here network service. Okay. So instead of Apache, we can also use here network and if I press tab, then you can take any services from here. Okay. This will also tell us the status of this network manager service and currently this service is running right so let me clear this screen after that if you want to start a particular service then you can give the option here as start okay so in that case it will it should be run as a sudo so it is asking me for the password and now if i do here status of apache 2 dot service it is running now to stop a particular service you can give the option here as stop and it, it is going to stop that service right so now if we again see the status this has been disabled or inactive and it is not running currently now after that if you want to reload or restart a particular service in that case you can give the option here as reload okay reload or you can also give here restart now the difference between the reload and restart is that when we reload our services then only the configuration files gets reloaded in this case our service keeps running but in case of restart, the entire service get restarts. So it is equivalent to the stopping the service and starting the service. And also in this mode, the configuration files are also reloaded. Okay. So when it is reload, only the configuration files get reloaded. And when it is restart, then entire service gets restarted. That means first it is stopped and also then it is started. So we can write here reload and let me run it with the sudo command. Okay. Now this service is not running at this moment. So first of all, I have to start this service to reload or restart. And now I can reload it. Okay. You can also restart it by using the option here as restart. Right. Now, after that, there are two other options that are also very helpful, which is enable and disable. Now, when our service is enabled, then during the boot time, these services starts getting running okay so by default when you will open your system then these services will be running automatically okay and if you disable it then in that case these services will not run automatically now to enable it you can give the option here as enable okay this will enable our services and if you want to disable it then you can disable it Okay. Now it is advisable that whenever you don't want any service to run by default on the system startup, then just disable the, those services. Don't give unnecessary resource during the boot time 
for the services that is not required. Otherwise, these services will continuously consume your resources in the background. Okay. So until unless if you feel that this service should not be run on the startup of the system, make sure that those are disabled. Okay. And if you want to run some services on system startup, then you can enable it. Okay. So that's all for today, guys. I hope you like the video. If you have any doubt, please comment it down. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.